Good morning, welcome back to another video, and today is another day of the Zero to Gold Cap Challenge. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today we have been doing the Whiptail Farm. Now, I know I said yesterday I was probably going to do the Volatile Air one, but I thought it would be better if I did the Multi Farm that I covered a while back. Now, the Multi Farm in general, if we go into Worth It, is pretty bog standard it is right about ta -da -da, here and it's roughly around about 14,000 gold per hour in all of them and this is using mining and herbalism and pretty much if i pull this up on the map all we're doing is we're coming down this lovely little lake right now picking up all the whip tail and coming back up through the y and then we're just darting over the Temple of Uldum and then running around the edge, picking up any pyrite and elementium ore, then back onto it. Instead of taking the shortcut back over to redo the whip tail, we're actually making more gold by picking up those few bits of nodes going forward. We're able to get more in the same amount of time and we'll definitely make a dent in our pyrite ore, which we solely need. Now, aside from all of that, let's have a look at what we got. Now, from yesterday, we had the 135 volatile air. We also have the 80 albino cave fish. Now, the new things that we actually have is 12 volatile fire from the elementium deposits, along with seven volatile water. And also we picked up 59 cinder bloom. So that's helping a little bit as well. So overall, not too bad. So from that, we also picked up 32 pyrite ore which is valued at 50 gold per piece and we have 32 of those that is pretty damn awesome throughout this entire farm now the other thing of note from our whiptail farm is we have over 468 whiptail we need 1280 so two more hours of this multi farm and we should be good to go when it comes to getting a hold of our whip tail. Now, aside from that, we still need to get a hold of our Ajara's Veil and our Cinder Bloom, which will be in Mount Hyjal and Vashir moving forward for our Vial of the Sands. That being the case, that should get us our volatile life as that comes with all Kata herbs. So I don't, I'm really not too concerned about it because we got in that one hour odd, it was about an hour and 20 minutes, was 181 volatile life. So really, we'll have another three stacks coming on along there, and then with the Ajara's Bell and the Cinder Bloom, we should have exactly enough to actually use the Volatile Life, which is 1,280. So really, using the multi-farm, we should be able to make a dent in the Cinder Bloom, doing this for the next couple of hours, along with getting a hold of any of our other different things, such as Pyrite Ore and all that jazz, while we're filling out our whip tail and then after that it will be herbs 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 and then we'll get onto some volatile farming but aside from that i have a couple of days off which i will be looking to doing some group farming so to speak that means if i'm doing some group farming that will be for the volatile water and volatile fire so if you want to jump in on that i will probably be doing volatile fire tomorrow and the next day will be volatile water either or of those ones so if you want to jump in on those ones you're more than welcome to that would be pretty damn awesome moving forward now aside from all of this however i will actually export this right now into the discord so with all of that said i can then just go export right now and then i can copy that and post that into the discord for you guys to import and along with that let's just get into the goal for the day now, the gold for the day is a healthy 24,330 gold for literally just posting once and leaving it while I go to work. The things that we actually sold is 89 Salho Pigment for 5,917 gold, along with a load more Highborn Compendiums of Sundering for 1,830 gold, and 67 contracts of the 7th Legion for 1,540 gold. Yes, the contracts don't sell for all that much on my realm, but they were pulling in a profit, so I made them. Uh, so from all of that, that's 24,330 gold in our bags, so they can add that into our rest of our different things that we're actually 
gathering back our gold for the last few days. And that puts us at 541,391 gold. We still currently have, du, 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 we still currently have 1,633,445 items on the auction house. So that's pretty damn good. And to answer any questions about how many times I post a day, when I'm doing a work day, I only post once a day. And when i am got the day off, it's usually once in the morning and then once in the evening. And that's it. That's how many times I post in the day. Aside from all this, let's do the restocking, which is looking at only five glyph of angels because we've still because we still got a damn good amount of stuff on the auction house which is we invest 246 gold for a 1003 gold investment so we'll just gather this up and we can actually talk about some other little different bits go moving forward so aside from that let's just go over to our scribe so with our inscription all we got to do is craft five glyphs of angels so that's pretty damn good let's just grab our ink of the sea so how much is ink of the sea 30 gold we still have our roseate pigment which we crafted for eight gold a piece so let's just get that ink of the sea and aside from that we've got our 15 ink of the sea so let's just get into crafting and just getting our daily restock over and done with so then we can spend our time farming for the rest of the evening. Obviously I'm not working tomorrow so I can farm as much as I want. Um, aside from all that, there was a lovely video done by Underrated54 about add-ons and he actually specified worth it. So thank you very much for your kind words about worth it. Uh, I know me and Callan work really really hard on the add-on in general and it's nice to see another gold maker talk such kind words about it. Now, aside from that, let's just go into our groups and send that over towards Giblet, and apparently it's decided to bug. So let's just jump back in again and do that again. Yeah, now it's sold, and that's basically our restock done for the day. Also, apparently I'm supposed to do my Shadow Moon quest line today, so let's just... So aside from that, let, we'll probably get that one over and done with, and then we will do that because once we have Shadow Morn, it's going to make us a hell of a lot more gold moving forward. But aside from all of that, today's been really, really good. Um, not an awful lot to cover because it is just a multi farm. It's just going to be complete farming for the next few days. So it's going to be a bit repetitive, kind of, until we've got all of our materials to craft 10 Vile of the Sands. And then we'll be getting into other different things that we should be supplementing with when it comes to this Bruto Saw challenge type thing. But overall, 24k for the day, not gonna complain. We're just building up the next few days from our massive investment until we break even, and then we can then start pulling in regular gold with the profit on top of that for creating it. So it's just gonna take a little while in order to get that gold back. And while we're doing that, we can then just up our stockpile for our Vile of the Sands. And then we can get into the other different types of things, such as the supplementary rural gold, which I do intend to do. And also crafting loads more mounts. Now, as if you've been watching me for quite a while, um, I actually make a lot of my gold through mounts um, before all of these challenges and before my channel. So I know quite a bit about crafting mounts for the cheap and also just selling mounts in general. So we're going to be doing a lot more of that because I know how to make a decent amount of gold moving forward. And they're more of an evergreen content type gold method because crafted mounts are always in need and in demand. So it just depends on who wants to buy it. So for obvious reasons, Vile of the Sands recipe is really hard to get a hold of. So Vile of the Sands is gonna sell relatively fast pretty understandable overall. Now aside from all of that, that's pretty much what I have to say for the day. It's going to basically just farming, farming, farming. So so that being the case guys, I shall see you on the Discord later on. And other than that, have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow.